Ladies and gentlemen, I'm over here at the Oakland Coliseum. Here for the reverse boycott game. Try right, Tuesday, June 13th. And a whole lot of people here. Supposedly, there's gonna be at least 25,000 people in the game for on a Tuesday night. And usually for the media, they always talk about like, oh, the attendance only like 3,000, 4,000 people. Most of the time, they're talking about a Tuesday game. So we're gonna show them how we could at least almost pack up this stadium with at least 25 to maybe hopefully 30,000 people. So right now I'm gonna get the experience on how it is before the game. I'm here early, it's about 5.20, so a good hour and a half before the game starts. And uh, yeah, just show you how it is. Right now the parking lot is looking pretty packed. Kind of reminds me how it is, well, a little bit when the Raiders to play here. They're giving away a lot of those uh, cell jerseys. And uh, yeah, just to show you the experience and how it is for today's game, because today's a real important game. It's uh, pretty much have our voices heard to the media, to all those people, fish and all that, that we could support a team even on a Tuesday night, but we just, we're not messing with the freaking, uh, with the owner, with Fisher. Every time I think about getting someone's jersey, they get traded away. It's been a story for, I don't even know how many years now. So just get our voices heard, I mean, this might be the last time I might get this back, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, to show you the experience how it is in today's game, man. Uh, yeah, you will see. Go away. Let's go open. Yeah. A lot of people got their shirts. I was handed one too. Yeah. Una propinita no les quería mal, you know, us musicians, we, we work hard and we do it from the heart, it's all passion. Well, with that being said, thank you guys for coming out, showing support today for the boycott. Tailgating like <laughs> hey, yeah. yep, yeah. that's it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Leo, yes, yes. Feels like a crown, though, bro. This belongs to you. Only Nays fans, are you in the house?
was my experience at the, I guess you could say the tailgating for the reverse boycott thing. So, uh, yeah, it was cracking, uh, but right now it's hella packed right now. And uh, I got to get to my seats and I'll report the show, uh, the show starts, but I guarantee you, you know, they short staff the people. So it's going to be a minute for them to check every single seat, but it looks like it's going to be at least, at least 25,000 for this one. Another crazy thing is there's only like two players in the A's that I know right now. Everybody else that I like got traded, so I'm rooting for who I can.
having flashbacks to the last Oakland Raider game. Throwing hella stuff on the field. Hey! He's in it! Hey, there's some guy right there! Got him! Like a boss, taking this chair with me. Nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, a good game, A's won. Man, it's getting a little crazy because look at all those bottles and trash. I'm trying to throw it at those police officers and security. What a way to celebrate, right? But I think we have, uh, we had our voices heard. Man, losing my voice, <laughs> too many screaming. Too many yelling, but uh, great time. A's 1-2-1 one, one, uh, against probably one of the best teams in MLB right now, so that's that's pretty good. And they're in a seven-game winning streak, so that's just kind of crazy how that is right now. And they're still throwing stuff. Woo! But, yeah, we have we had our voices heard. A lot of media, a lot of the news came in. And, uh, yeah, they know that we can support a team, but, you know, you got to support us too. And... It's unfortunate it's going to be like this. I still think they're going to move to Vegas, but if they can find a way to say an open, great. If not, whether if they move or not, Fisher got to sell the team. He don't care about winning championships. He just cares about winning money. And for all the real Ace fans that have been following the team for hell of years, they know that too. So even if he moves to Vegas, all the Vegas people, he's not going to want to win a championship. So, and it's kind of crazy because today the Golden Knights – Vegas Golden Knights won the Stanley Cup uh, finals today, so that's kind of a weird coincidence in a weird way. But I'll try to go maybe a couple more A's games because I love this place. This is my home. But, yeah, until then, adios, CC, and sell the team, Fisher.